Okay, now we'll see the next topic which is mass reversal. Mass reversal, you already know about individual reversal, right? Once you post a document, if you want to change something in a document, like the amount and all that, you cannot change, change it directly. You have to reverse the document and then post it back as a new document. That's what we call reversal. I've already taught this earlier. This is individual reversal. But if you want to do, if you want to reverse only one document, you can use this straight away. You can key in a document number. Of what happens if you want to reverse a range of documents? Let's say 100 document num documents that you want to reverse. You can use this mass reversal where you can enter the document range and the company code and then execute. You can reverse it. Let me just show you. Document range, you must put a document range. If you don't know the document range, yeah, it'll be difficult. Let me just uh, find out document range. Could I be 03? Enter. See, okay, you have this range, right? So I'm going to put this range and copy this to this to six, right? Okay, okay six. This is test run, right? So it won't be reverse now. It's only test run. I'm going to simulate only. This is one of the important thing you need to specify the reason for reversal. Always choose reversal. This first reason zero one doesn't really matter. Okay, now is test run. All these documents will be reversed and posted with the new documents. That's why it says documents which can be reversed. If you want to do uh, actual run of this reversal, just remove this tick mark and run it. And all the documents will be posted. Reversal documents will be posted. See, you don't have to do one by one. That's what we call mass reversal.